could I imagine my community like with stuff like this? Mm -hmm. Hands down. And that's kind of like what, what I believe it could be if we had access to some of those things. So what, one thing that we do is we provide grants, right, to businesses so they can build their businesses on the east side of Truce. And I see grocery stores and I see clothing stores and I see flower shops and I see um, I see everything that we essentially need, um, could, could dream and want. It's, it's specifically in our communities if we just had access to these things. So a lot of this stuff, that that right here hands down hands down and i i don't think it, it it is it's far from us right i think it's just more so of we don't have some of the basic basic things needed in order to make it happen um and so one that's what we're trying to accomplish but two uh if you know we're only one group of people and we can only do so much right and if we got major support from people who can who can move the needle a lot faster and in massive ways man this could happen within a matter of a couple of years sure So yeah. those, these are pictures of that. innovative mm -hmm. neighborhood markets, right? So yeah. One in Rhode Island. Yeah. They have like fresh fruit and all that kind of stuff, well, or it, fresh foods or something. Yeah, and also, grown in the community. Grown in the community and all like by that. the community, okay, right? Yeah. Right. That would help out with jobs, because then you got more people uh, getting jobs in the community, so that gives people something to do. People are gonna be taking care of their store, you know. And like I said, it takes more than the store, but that's one thing. It, it helps out a lot, for sure. How would you think the Innovative Neighborhood Market would impact your community? You know, it's interesting. I think an Innovative Neighborhood Market um, or anything that brings together uh, people of different backgrounds, number one, it makes the richness of a community that much more visible. And I think that's a really exciting benefit. Also, of course, there's like the bigger picture benefits, things like the ability to start one's own business and the opportunity for wealth creation that comes with that. That's something I think is a really compelling um, potential outcome. Imagine your community be like with an innovative neighborhood market. Happy. You said happy? Happy. Um, they call Kansas City, Missouri, misery. Misery. They talk about how we, we feel stuck, um, how we don't have the things that our neighbors of the West have. Um, so many people are fleeing from Kansas City because we don't have enterprises. So with the infrastructure in place for us to have our passions, our skills, our talents shown on such a grand scale for us to be able to come together and unite, we will be happy. Like I just see a people thriving out of survival mode, enjoying life. Uh, one thing that you will also notice though, um, you'll notice fences, especially to my left, there's a uh, Catholic Abbey. It's a cloistered community, which means they don't really go out into the community. They kind of stay to themselves. And I like to do this sort of visual of, we're still on the east side of Troost, only a block away. You'll see Jesus standing on the hill with his arms open wide, but the access to Jesus is cut off by a fence, which I think in some way says some of the challenges of this particular community. I think that's one of the things that I know a market went in um, roughly 31st and Linwood area mm -hmm. supermarket, yes. and that made a big difference for people, but I think definitely like a co-op, um, would do really well because I think there's still not a lot of access for people to have a market space that's got a wide variety of things that's that also would be um, something like you said based on the community input so that they can have some control over what what goes in there so it's not just somebody coming from the outside and say here's what we're going to offer you and that's it well I immediately go my mind immediately goes to the health benefits OK, um, you know, when we talk about not having, you know, when we talk about food deserts, we talk about not having healthy choices for people to eat. Right. Uh, then we have a place where we can control a little bit more of our food supply, make sure we actually get nutrition from the things that we're eating. 
not to mention we can inspire urban agriculture and all those types of things to stock those shelves. And beyond that, let's, let's look at the mental health of, mm -hmm. of not just the adults, but the children that are coming up in the community. They can look and they can see examples of what they collectively own. Like what's ours, what's something to be proud of, right? And what can they contribute to, what they can participate in. I mean, how much power can you have if you don't even control your own food supply? How much power can you have if you don't have access to good, healthy food? Right. You know, these things are so important. They're integral to the, to the success of the community. So, yeah, I think that would be really great. I know there's a, a, a co-op, a community mercantile in Kansas City, Kansas, and they very much did that. They um, involve people who live in the community to decide what what that store would to invite to, to decide what that store would be like. So I think that'd be fantastic. And I think it would be well supported. They just made it out to seem like it was just almost impossible and so hard to do. Right put capital into the inner city so we can start to develop and build our city. They just made it seem like it was just this hard thing to do. And then somebody who was a content creator and another guy that worked for a nonprofit in three years has put over a million dollars back into this community, has created over a hundred jobs, has, uh, we see an average uh, grow, uh, we, we see an, on average 300% business growth within all of our businesses, 65 different businesses but the people that we put in place who, who have the money, who have the, the experience, who have the, the knowledge, the teams, and the capacity to, to make the impact couldn't seem to figure it out, right? They did it forever. They taught us how to do it. Sit down in the South? Yeah, especially in the South. We all, our, all our families had to raise their own gardens and chickens and cows and everything, all our meats and vegetables and everything. And we did it, they did it proudly. So we're doing it now proudly too. There's plenty of black men out here and there's plenty of black women out here. What the community needs is for those individuals to come together and feed the youth. Y'all agree with that? Yeah, definitely. feeding our families learning to do it in case we ever had to do it you know that only we can we can still feed ourselves mm -hmm. yeah.